Muffler, Seven Days to Die with <laughs> Silver Blade. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Son of a. Ouch. You must remember to work. Uh... 88 miles power! Don't you feel foolish? <laughs> Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 14.7, and this is episode 90. Yeah, 90 episodes of this game, of this particular alpha of this game. So anyways, uh, as you can see, I'm no longer in the mines. kind of got tired of that. Uh, in this episode, we're going to do a little exploring, uh, particularly of areas that we haven't been to, and one of the areas where we really haven't done much exploring in is the winter biome. I mean, it's kind of all the same, but uh, we'll just go cruising around in it a little bit. I know of a few POIs out here that uh, don't get as much attention in Let's Play videos as, as uh, they usually should, I guess. So, first of all, I'm just going to dunk, dunk that. Um, I've taken all of the nitrate and coal from the mine with me back here and I'm making as much gunpowder as I possibly can. As you can see I'm making quite a bit. So that's going to be grinding away as we go along. So let's get journeying and just so you know uh, before the episode's out I'm going to have a bit of an announcement I need to make so you'll definitely want to stick around for that. So let's get going. Back it on out. Back that ass up. <laughs> Zip. So we get out here to the little pathway anyway. Just do, 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 do. Cruising right along. And the bridge is up this way. Kind of cutting corners, but hey, it saves on gasoline. <laughs> uh, zombies in the corn, oh joy. So this is all familiar countryside here. Obviously it's the path that we take to get to the shotgun messiah. But we're going to veer off course after a little bit. <laughs> At least the usual course. And we'll see what we can come across. If I can remember exactly where things are supposed to be. Hey there, Frostilicus. Gonna see a whole crap load of these guys. And here's where we veer off from the usual path. Now, the last time we were out this way was when I did a treasure hunt map that was almost completely disastrous. <laughs> Hypothermia is a bitch, it tells you. Alright, we're gonna get out here. See if we can find some ammo. That's the main thing. Is if we find ammo, we'll go, uh, if I can get a hitbox. I had it there for a second. There we go. All right, no ammo. Oh, this has been looted, so I'll just scrap that. Throw that out. That respawns. We'll take the water because we may need it. Uh, this stuff we can scrap. Alright, what do we got here? Small stone, okay. Car. Alright, so because I have the gunpowder cranking away, stuff isn't going to scrap. Okay, we'll just 
pop old Frostilicus's noggin here. Okay. We'll eh, I can't scrap that, but we will wear the one that I brought with me because winter biome. And we're running <laughs> along with it. Alright, let's remount this thing. There we go. Ooh, we got some friends and some dogs, so let's have some fun with this. Come on, Frosty. That's right. Ooh, getting a little bit of frame rate drop. Go down, Poochums. Oop, reload. Oh, I forgot I got the one round of that. <laughs> okay. I made some uh, instant friends. Oops, let's go with shotgun. Hit the road, lumberjack. And don't you come back no more. Meh. Go down, you. Like a boss. Okay, I can't really... I ain't really worried about the loot, to tell you the truth. In fact... Uh, ah, screw it. We'll just take what we, what we get here. There's a tree stump. Uh, we'll take this. Eh, yeah, hell, we'll take the tips, too, because those don't pop up in nature all that commonly. Okay. And my bike's still up here. Reload between engagements, because there's that poochums over there. Ooh, nice hunting knife. Oh, doggy. Hmm, those dogs don't seem to respond well to bullets. Uh, perhaps they've been dead for a while, like unlike this guy. Uh, eh, we'll take it stuff hell with it. It seems this place is infested with frost fleas. <laughs> Yeah, I thought there was somebody over here sneaking up on me. Whoopsie. Keep moving. Switch the shotgun. Goodness, I'm popular. Not really sure how to take this. <laughs> Holy shit on a stick. Reloading. Um, go down. Hmm. This is a bit vexing. Well, no you don't. And boom goes the dynamite. Except there's no dynamite, it's just thunder.
Reloading. And back off, you. Get that shotgun skill going, baby. Oh, yeah. Not really important stuff to loot, but it's good for the uh, scavenging skill. Yikes. Boy, these guys really love their green alcohol. <laughs> Not judging. Pickaxe, that's nice. Whoa, hey now. Bad touch. You guys are not good for the property values. Get bent, boy. And stay down. Another nail gun. Huh. Don't see those that that often in the game. And for some reason, uh, kind of stuck there. All right, so I'll take the fuel. All right, fuel pump. Just kind of getting a quick run over on the place. I'm not really worried about all the specialty loot. Although if something interesting comes my way, I'll pick it up. And let's see. Chuck that in there. That, that, that. And I can make better than that. Actually, we could take that and swap it with the one we got. Actually, uh, the one I got is a steel. That was iron. And I think this is a better puffer coat than the one I'm wearing. It is. And we'll chuck that up in there. Hell with it. Good enough for now. So let's get back to cruising because we've been burning up time. And we're running. <laughs> let's see if we can fix that. There we go. Spent way too much time there. <coughs> so let's see, there's a ski lodge and a lumber mill up ahead, as well as a military base. And right over there is a military base. I want to stay away from that for right now. Because of that, the landmines. <laughs> good for them, not so good for me. Okay, so coal piles. Meet me. Let's I think this is a path up to the ski lodge. Oh, come on, I'm wearing a puffer coat. I shouldn't be freezing. Oh, hello, doggies. Come on. Reloading. There. Way too much light. So yeah, if you guys have never seen this POI before, it is like way up here. And it sounds like we got friends. So let's go say hello. Ooh, do we ever have friends. Yeesh. Friends like this. Who needs enemies, right? Ooh, bluey head. Could powie. Uh, 
That's it. We gotta switch to shotgun. Oh, okay then. <laughs> you guys want me? Come get me. Wait your turn, you'll get a face full of buckshot in due time. Hehehe, <laughs> what a fucked up dance this is. Swing your partner, do see -si do whatever the hell that means. Down. Stay down. Didn't say you can get up. Getting low on shotgun shells. Ooh, nice head splody. That's a better puffer coat than the one I'm wearing. And I'm not too worried about the military fiber. Although that is a rarer material. I'm worried about that. And I can make that. And I picked it up anyway. Okay, so let's go check out this place, huh? Well, it's a cozy little cabin that's had the hell beat out of it by zombies. And I'm sure there's all sorts of goodies in here that I'm not even going to bother to pick up. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, let's go upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Not impressed. Not impressed. Again, not impressed. So, yeah, that's kind of it for up here. Now, there is these rooms here. Nothing too serious. I'm not even going to bother reading it, just because I've read so many of those, those damn things. And they don't really gain me any more levels at this point. Not worry about that. I will take that. Not worry about that. Nothing there. Oops, almost forgot the suitcase. Ooh, we'll take the flashlight. Those are rare enough. So here's a little kitchen. Um. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the beer. I will take the gunpowder because, well, it stacks with what I got. I uh, can't get the corner one. Man, a lot of empty tin cans and jars. Uh, 
a lot of squat in there. Not too worried about that. Oh, come on, dead guys. You're breaking my heart here. Meh. Okay. Alright, so this is what's left of the winter cabin. And yes, I know you. a lot of you will probably be like, You're skipping so much shit! It's like, sorry, I mean, I've, I've hit so much stuff as it is that what I'm finding now is just excess stuff that I don't need and I mean if I find some hard to find stuff well then I'll I'll grab it but yeah, that's good stuff I guess alright so that's pretty much it and we'll, we'll take those Alright, so let's hop on our apocalypse buggy. And I'm getting tired of this whole Ricky Tiki Rickshaw stuff. And I gotta fix that animation at some point if I can get back on the bike. Alright, here we go. So, come back out to the road here. It's somewhere out here. It's been a while since I've been out this way on, on this map. And this is not what I was looking for. That's the edge of the map, so that's the irradiated zone. Let's take a look here. Okay, so I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Excuse me. So there should be a turn off going to the south up here somewhere. And that was it right back there. Or was it? Well, it is now. That, it, that's it. So here we are at the lumber camp. Zoom through here real quick. <laughs> Everything's crunchy out here. And I'm freezing. <laughs> Alright, so let's see about getting inside. Oh no you don't. Seems I've gathered a bit of a crowd here. Ah. Whoa, hey. Pardon me. Conga line of carnage. Oh, hi there. 
excuse me as I put a bullet in your ass. Hey, boys. That sting a little. Don't stay in one spot for too long. Why do you have to go ruin this nice porch? Come on, boys. Oh, no, you don't. So as you can hear, we're quite surrounded by the uh, Frostilicus variety. I'm not getting any warmer. Well, that's just cute. The, the windows are lighting up in response to my gunshots. I like that. Even though it doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> Find an entrance here. So this is what it looks like inside the lumber mill. And there is an upstairs area. Not very helpful upstairs area. Come on, pretty boy. Ah. Just to be thorough. All right, so I could take a moment to warm up in here, I suppose. All right. So while things have cooled off, <laughs> subtle humor in that one uh, out there We're near the end of the episode so now I think is about the, the right time to uh, do my little channel announcement okay so here's the deal or 90 episodes into season four I can't keep track anymore but it, it's been plenty of seasons uh, 90 episodes in and, s and we're getting pretty close to when Alpha 15 should be dropping and I don't know about you guys but th there comes a point in every game where oh, looks like I'm going to have to run around a little bit uh, there comes a point in every game where y you tend to get fatigue you know, you do the same things over and over. You get the grind, you know. And and for me, sometimes the, the grind just gets so dull, so boring. It, it kind of saps the fun out of the game. And so, uh, you may some of you guys that may have been watching the multiplayer with me, Hal, uh, S'more, and Sharky, uh, that was just brutal and so we're going to be changing things up a little bit with that at least until alpha 15 of uh, seven days to die but uh yeah it just gets to a point where it's just like really 
we got to do this again and make it even harder now. And so uh, I think what I'll be doing is when day 49 comes, um, I'm going to do the, the day 49 horde and then I will finish out the season in my usual fashion by blowing up all of my bases. Let me get a swig of drink here. So yeah, I'm going to blow up all my bases and I'm going to take a break from seven days to die for the solo playing stuff. Now I do have a project that I'm kind of working on it just as time permits and ambition permits too uh... That involves seven days to die um, i might be touching up on that a little bit it's a small little thing but um, but other than that i'm pretty much going to just be giving seven days to die a break until f15 comes out then when it does come out uh... hopefully on the day it comes out uh, I would like to do a live stream to demonstrate all the new features and and, and all that stuff. Uh, but if I can't do that, then I'll do an immediate episode. Meaning, there will be an episode recorded, rendered, and immediately uploaded. Uh, not scheduled, just put right on up. Uh, so as it gets processed and finished, it'll be up for viewing. Um, and that, that's just to get the first watch, or the first view of Alpha 15, you know, up and, and out of the way. Uh, this doesn't mean I'm going to be quitting, or quitting seven days a die at all. It just, I need to take a break. This game gets old after, after a bit, especially after doing a long run each Alpha. <coughs> <coughs> Now, I will be doing other games. Um, I, by the time you... Well, let's see. The, the last episode of Ghostbusters the Game should be coming out uh, today, I believe, if my scheduling is set right. So, hope you guys will stick around in the next hour for the finish for that. Um, I will be continuing Subnautica and playing that out and I think when when I'm at a point where there's nothing new to build nothing new to explore then I'll probably stop that game until the next update for that comes out now there'll probably be uh, other games I'll be putting out as well um, the main thing for me is that they have to be fun for me I don't care if they're popular games they just gotta be fun for me and so uh, I'm going to be looking into what is recordable and and also fun and that I can do like a 20-30 minute episode of. Now there's been people, you know, been suggesting certain games and, you know, suggest a way, but really when it comes down to it, it's like, you know, do I see myself playing this game? Do I see myself enjoying it? Other people may enjoy it, but I might not. Or there might be a game that I might enjoy that other people just thinks is boring as shit and doesn't want to watch. And, you know, I'm still going to put videos up of that. Or whatever it may be. So I kind of have to figure that stuff out. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on trying to get, a, you know, get stuff more refined, like my intro and outro videos. Um, trying to do the overlays and stuff like that for OBS uh, that's been kinda hit and miss on that you know just as time is permitted but I'm trying to make my channel look a lot tidier a lot more professional um, trying to get a, a, a few really cool interesting projects you guys might like but because I would like it you know I, I'm sure you guys would like it um, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff I'm trying to get going, and time hasn't been kind to me in terms of um, having the time to, to 
get the, a lot of the stuff arranged. So I have a lot of ambition in certain ways, but just not enough time to deal with that kind of ambition. And yes, I'm running around in circles to keep warm. Uh, <laughs> and I'm running long. But, uh, but yeah, I, again, as soon as day 49 is done and over with, uh, I'll be doing a video of blowing up my bases and then I'm going to take a break until Alpha 15 comes out. Uh, that's a break from Seven Days to Die. There will be videos of other games. Um, I'm thinking kind of like slowing down my channel so I can dedicate time to the side projects um, and you know, channel, you know, cleaning up the channel a little bit. I still got to run through and make sure my playlists are in order to my satisfaction. Um, just a lot of little tidying up and cleaning up stuff to do that I, I want to get done. Uh, there's also projects around the house and with my family I have to take care of. And I'm just trying to swap some time, I guess. I am building up my athletic skill running around in circles like a chicken with a head cut off. Awesome. Um... Other than that stuff, I really can't think of anything else for an announcement, and if there is, I'll probably do it in a formal channel announcement video, and make note of it on Twitter. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I am done. I think that's everything. Um, so anyways, again, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys will be understanding in my situation. And if you're not, well, it's tough because I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Uh, because I either have to do it or I just want to do it. I am not a slave to the demands of my audience. Not that I don't respect you guys. It just... It's my channel. I do what I do. You can't boss me. I do what I want. So anyways, guys. <sighs> thanks so much for watching. Like, dislike, I'm sure I know which way that'll lean. Uh, comment either way, keep it polite, keep it constructive. Share if you think that this video has been helpful or entertaining or instructive. And may help somebody else out. Um, sh subscribe if you haven't already. And really you should subscribe because I got... A lot of p good plans for the future that will be interesting to stay uh, watching for. And uh, follow me on Twitter. So you'll know when those changes come out, when new videos come out, uh, various channel announcements, uh, interaction with me and other YouTubers, particularly my friends. Um, if I have contests and giveaways, I'll primarily be doing it through Twitter, so you want to follow me on that. Also, uh, the links to friends of mine and, and other YouTubers that are just getting started that I'm trying to help out. Um, there, all those links for Twitter and all their, li their links in the description below. That's a long-winded way of saying all that, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you later. Twitch, twitch. Whew. I think I'm going to have to oil my jaws. They're starting to rush shut now. <laughs> see ya.